Hello and welcome back again. Today we are going to create this beautiful infographic design. Let's move on. As usual, let's enable the guides and I guess you all know why I do this every time. Right click and choose format background. Choose gradient and let it be linear type. Change the direction and make it a two-step gradient. Choose slightly darker blue colors for each gradient steps. First we will create a gear shape. Go to insert tab and draw a 12 point star shape. Adjust the spikes length using yellow color edit point. Now insert a circle at the middle of this star shape with diameter slightly larger than the star shape. Select both shapes, go to shape format tab and union them. Now insert another circle at the center, again diameter slightly larger than the current shape. Select both the shapes and this time intersect them to get a gear shape. Let's make this a halo gear by subtracting a circle through center. Duplicate this circle using Ctrl plus D. One circle we will subtract and another we will use to create 3D effect from inside. Move the duplicate circle at the center and make it no fill. Now let's format its outline using gradient pattern. Make it a two-step gradient, change the direction and increase its width. Apply white and slightly gray colors into gradients. Now apply same gradient pattern to gear shape but in opposite direction. That's how you get a 3D look. Group both these shapes and keep it aside. We will make use of this at the later stage of our design. Now go to insert tab, then click on smart art. Choose cycle, and then select hexagonal pattern. Click OK to add this pattern into our slide. Ungroup this once and then create a duplicate of this pattern using Ctrl plus D. Align them as shown. And then ungroup both the patterns once again. Now take out unnecessary shapes and delete them. Select hexagonal shapes, make them no outline and pull back gear shape onto middle hexagonal shapes as shown. Make sure your entire design is centrally aligned. Duplicate this gear shape three times using Ctrl plus D and arrange them as shown.
Now send these gear shapes back and delete the four hexagonal shapes. Select remaining hexagonal shapes and apply linear gradient. The gradient pattern must be same as that of gear shape. Now select all shapes and apply outer shadow. Increase the distance and blur values until you get desired effect. Let's create circles at the middle of each hexagonal shapes. These will be our text placeholders. Apply the same gradient pattern as that of hexagonal shape but in opposite direction. You can just switch the gradient steps to make it in opposite direction. Holding down control key, drag this circle to each hexagonal shape as shown. Drag this circle into two of the gear shapes and again switch their gradient steps to make it in opposite direction. Finally add PNG icons and text fields. Let's speed up to save time. So, here is the final preview. Hope you all liked this tutorial. Don't forget to like, share and comment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.